Christian greetings to you, my dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Methodist Church, Leeward Island District Devotional for today, Monday, the 23rd October, 2023. I am Sister Joy Walters, representing the Nevis Circuit. As a church, we celebrate October as Mission Missionary Month. And our theme for this week is So I Send You. Take a listening now to our theme song, So Send I You. So send I you to labor unrewarded, to serve unpaid, unloved, unsought. So send I you to toil for me alone. So send I you to bind the bruised and broken, or wandering souls to work, to weep, to wake, to bear the So send I you to loneliness and longing, with heart a-hungering for the loved and known, forsaking home and kindred, friend and dear one. So send I you to know my love alone. So send I you to leave your life's ambition, to die to dear desire, self-will resign, to labor long and love where men revile you. So send I you to lose your life in mine. So send I you to hearts made hard by hatred. To eyes made blind because they will not see. To spend the weird, be blood to spend and spare not. So send I you to taste of Calvary. So send I you by grace made strong to try. in bondage, the word of truth that sets the captive free, to break the bonds of sin, to lose death's fetters, so send I you to bring the lost to me, so send One day with joy to me. 
all in prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for awakening up this morning. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for good health and strength. Not to complain, but to give you the praises that are due to your name. I pray for those who are hurting. Heal them, Lord. Help us to have a forgiving spirit to forgive others that sin against us, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. The scripture reading is taken from St. John chapter 20, verse 21. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you, as the Father has sent me, so I send you. For our meditation, our sub-theme is caring spirit. The view of nursing as a ministry has propelled nurses for centuries to care for the needs of the whole person in service to God. The earlier nurses were caretakers of Christian faith who demonstrated God's love by tendering to the physical, mental, and spiritual need of the sick. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 7, it said, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. His point is forgiving others, so you can move into the blessing and joy of his fellowship. Indeed, when Jesus said, Love and bless those who curse you, forgiving reflects the true nature of God's children. When we forgive, you are revealing the Father's nature to the world. Love your enemies and do good, hoping for nothing again in return. And your reward shall be great, and ye shall be children of the highest. Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. But some people have an unforgiving spirit. So, as a result, it becomes a burden to them. This can lead to getting sick, blood pressure increasing, blood sugar rises, palpitation, sleepless night, and then this goes on. They go to doctor after doctor, ending up with shopping for doctors. No matter how much medication they take, there they are no result. They keep going back to doctor, but doctor cannot pinpoint anything wrong with them. If that person only turned their life around and simply ask the Lord for forgiveness, a great change will occur. In that case, nothing physically was wrong, rather a spiritual illness. In St. John chapter 20, verse 21, Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you, as the Father has sent me, so I send you. Jesus sent us to help others, but before the person accept help, they must examine oneself, ask question, if there is something wrong with me? The help first must begin with you and me, and then we can offer forgiveness toward one another. Forgive others, not because they deserve forgiveness, but because you deserve peace. Once you have forgiven ourselves, forgiven others, and received forgiveness from God, we can now be released to fulfill God's purpose to offer ministry to others. I am not talking about the ordained or preaching minister. I am talking about ministry in whatever career you are engaged in. I am a nurse, and I offer health tips for healthy living in my church. Someone else may want to offer blood pressure, blood sugar check, and another may offer to check in with a family member, friend, or loved one to make sure that they are taking their medication. So, as Jesus sent us, he sent us to offer ministry on whatever sphere 
of life we find ourselves. Let us seek God's forgiveness, offer forgiveness to others, and, and allow the Holy Spirit to direct our way into ministry. Amen. Closing prayer, Lord Jesus, thank you for your abundance love and care for us. Thank you for forgiving our sin, even for the sin we do not realize we committed. Lord, please give us your wisdom and your compassion for others. May you bless us with your never-ending love. In Jesus' name, amen. And the closing song, Lord of sea and sky. <laughs>